Hello, everyone. I'm back. Can you tell? Because this is the the brilliant production that you've come to know and expect on a Sunday. Happy Sunday, everyone. This is... The Jarek Live Show, the most Jarek Live Show on the internet. My name's Daryl Campbell. This is the pre-show to the Generic Live Show. The Generic Live Show will be starting up here in about half an hour's time. It is so good to be back. Ah, oh, man, it feels 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 weird to be back. We're getting I take a week off, and it's. Getting the, getting the gears moving for the Rock Block Day, but hi everyone. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's having a fantastic Sunday. Hope you didn't miss me too much last week. Hope uh, you didn't miss me too much last week. Boom! I forgot to do something there. So there you go. We're back. Uh, so, again, hope everyone had a fantastic week without me. I had a nice relaxing time uh, CJ and Rachel were out here and that down further push this music right into the background there you go that's a happy place for it to set I know the boats were out here down under they were out here on vacation uh, I don't want to tell uh, too many of their stories, because it's not, and uh, they're not my stories to tell. So I will leave it up to them. I have to tell the stories when they're back, when they're back podcasting and back into the swing of things next week or the week after. Whenever they, whenever they decide to come back, podcasting, uh, they can, they can come back and do their thing. And, uh, yeah, it, 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 was, it was a bunch of fun to, to have the guys out here uh, visiting me. It was very cool that they, they came out here to visit me. Uh, you know, it was, it was, we had fun. We had a lot of fun. Uh, there were a lot of good, uh, a lot of good laughs uh, had by all. And all I could say is... There may or may not be a new character for the show. Just saying. Just saying there may, there may or may not be the introduction of a new character on the shows. So stay tuned for that for whenever, whenever that comes down the pipeline ahead. Yeah, probably next week. So there you go. Uh, there, was, there was a moment... There's a moment through the week, though, I will say this, where CJ and I did, like, a 20-minute, like, stand-up, gut-wrenching laugh, your ass off, comedy routine, for no one. <laughs> we did it for, for no one. Like, no one was around. We just did it for ourselves. And it was fantastic. It was, it was a great time I to have the guys out here and, and looking around the different sites and that sort of stuff. But they, again, I'll let, I'll let them tell more of the details uh, when they, they get back on the horn. They have stories to tell, not mine. But I just wanted to share the fact that, again, CJ and I did a comedy routine in like 20 minutes. But it was probably more like half an hour, but it felt like 20 minutes. But no one. No one. It was great. Uh, how's everyone doing? I, I'm doing. All, I'm, I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. 
we're here. We're back. We've got a jammed pack show uh, for you guys. So there's gonna be no messing around. We're gonna have to. We got. We've got a lot to cover. And today's episode. The, so the post show might run a little long. I, I'm gonna say that, and then the, in hopes that we can keep the post show a little bit, a little bit tighter. We got we got a new story in the post show, so that's gonna be fun to talk about a little bit later on. Uh, but in the show show, I'm gonna run down the show real quick. Uh, we've got uh, you know the long-awaited uh, plastic bag ban upon us. A lot happened in two weeks. I mean, outside of again, outside of Mr. T, who we don't talk about on the show uh, because. We have that ban in place where we don't talk about the famous what the famous Mr. T or the other Mr. T. We don't talk about the famous or the infamous Mr. T. We don't talk about either one of them. So outside of him being an idiot, uh, we, <laughs> we had the plastic bag ban. Uh, it, Cast your minds back, I think two years ago, where I talked about the theme park here locally that had those uh, tragic deaths. Uh, the inquiry into those have officially started, and we'll be talking about that. Uh, we're talking about some other fun little uh, weird stories. Uh, major telecommunication companies cutting eight thousand jobs. Uh, what else do we have in here? Uh, more tax time. Uh, 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 we gotta continue that song, which is exciting for everyone. Uh, more job cuts and uh, the New Zealand Prime Minister, Prime Minister, making headlines. So we got, we got, we got a lot. It's Australia heavy, this episode. But when is it not? It's my show. I can do what I want. I do what I want. Oh, uh, this month is going to be crazy. Uh, I still have to fit in a generic life. I want to do a generic life hangout this month because I feel like it's going to be the last one I could have to do for a while. I've still got a Generic Club Hangout to do to talk about everything that's happened over the last two months, and by golly, there's been a lot. I uh, what else? There, I, I've got 30 something days before I depart to go to America. And I don't know what I'm doing on that week before I, uh. Before I go. 36. 36 days before I depart. Terrifying. Uh, oh, Derp Face again. Fantastic. I love the Derp. I love the Derp Faces that come into the Discord, uh, the show announcements Discord to say that we're live. Love, love today's Derp Face. It pretty much describes me in a nutshell. Geek Dash, I don't know, slash Discord for that. Loving the Derp Face today. In love. Uh, was that it? Was that all that list? Huh. No. That can't be it. Huh. Anyway. Hi. <laughs> Turn that on. Alright. Figuring out things as we go on the air. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and I went back to work yesterday. Oof. Boy, what a fun filled festivities uh, for everyone involved there, let me tell you. Uh, and I'll. Hmm. I'll elaborate. Full disclaimer, I work with Woolworths, and Woolworths did the no plastic bag uh, thing. And 
and they, they have the no plastic bags and people are still trying to get used to it. I actually, you know what, this actually might be a, a good chance to play this because the Australian unions released an ad, well actually re-upped their, uh, re-upped their no excuse uh, for uh, abuse song, uh, uh, ad campaign, uh, retail might be, might be, I don't think to put in this, uh, uh, in this, uh, search here, but they basically, um, uh, They basically re-upped there the fact that it's not okay to abuse retail workers in the wake of this no plastic bag thing. It's not the cashier's fault. Hey, you know, 99% of customer issues aren't the cashier's fault. Hey, turns out. Fun fact starring every cashier ever, ever, it's not the cashier's fault. Uh, let's see if I can play this. Video, it's not great on this. website but the, the the original campaign happened around Christmas time and with the no plastic bag man now being wheeled into place it's a fantastic reminder to company like to to consumers to hey lay off the cashiers a little bit I and again I'll probably say repeat this in the show as well but to that came to my mind at the pre-show but just in case I don't say it again uh, it's a fantastic reminder to hey, maybe lay off the uh, lay off the cashiers. It's not not their fault. Let's see. Is this the one? Uh. Uh, no, that's not the one. But this is a video. That unfortunately we were closed. Um, he swore at me and spat on me, then walked out. Uh, in another incident, a man came into the store wanting a refund on several high-valued items without a receipt. Um, unfortunately, I was unable to process it for him following company policy. He left the store and came back 10 minutes later and threw a glass full of vitamins at the service desk, smashing Oof. glass all over the floor. After that happened, I guess I just felt shocked again that, that someone behave in that way, because it was quite irrational and, and I just couldn't understand it. Uh, even though I've experienced um, some of these negative situations, I still do enjoy my job and I still do love, love dealing with people every day. Uh, that's not the ad. Where's the ad? I want the ad. I might have to go to that website that wasn't... It was a great view, but eh, what can you do? What can you do? Uh, no one deserves. No one deserves to serve is the actual slogan. No excuse for abuse. <laughs> uh, it's a whole bunch of text. Uh, I might have to go to the news.com website, even though it's not super helpful. Uh, yes, this is great audio content. Great audio content. Here we go. Well worth the 33 seconds, I promise. We lived 
thousand years, a thousand times, a thousand lives before I die, a thousand ways, a thousand times to look into your eyes. Over eighty-five percent of retail and fast food workers cop abuse every day. Authorized G to RSDA Melbourne. And that that ad's been uh, uh, remaking the rounds uh, again uh, because of this plastic bag ban. And yeah, I, I I had I had two. I'm sure. Lovely individuals who told me I shouldn't get paid. Hello, Kerry! How's it going? Hi! There we go. Hi! But again, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure these are lovely individuals that just need to know that I hadn't been there for two weeks and need to take a relaxed tablet. I think I think a relaxed tablet should have been uh, on the menu. Uh, Carrie says she's uh, she's good and glad to see you at GLS again. Oh, oh, thank you. It's it's good to be back. It's good to be in the flow of things again. I, I miss doing the show. It's it's my baby. And not seeing my baby for a week nearly, uh, nearly died. No, <laughs> no, I, I almost died not doing the show. So I'm, I'm glad to do the show again. Wow, wait, I've made a day or wait to turn your own pre-show uh, very dark. Wait, you did this to yourself. And it's it's one of those things where it's just like. Uh, it's one of those things where it's just like, come on, do, do people, what do, what do people get from doing that? I don't, is it like some sort of, I'm superior than you kind of kick that they get? It must be. Save a life, watch Dale on GLS. Yes, I love that. Save a life, watch Dale on GLS. Uh, it's a power high, yeah. I, mm, it's a power high, says Kerry. I, I agree. It, it has to be a power high. This is one of those things where it's just like, could you like, like, you, 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 you turn, you, you want to turn around and go. It's kind of, it is my job to pack your bags. If you don't like the way I'm packing your bags, you can pack them yourselves. We're not allowed to say that. But I kind of did say that to one of the people. They want to feel bigger and more important. Yeah, and out here especially, it's the it's the whole customer customer is always right mentality is drilled into a lot of people at a very early age, like super early, and like people t tell their like four year olds that. They t people tell their four-year-olds that, you know, us people that are standing on this side of the register is uh, are more accurate than that. And also, I kind of had a, yelly, a lady yell her, uh, raise her voice at me because I didn't know what type of mandarin mandarins that she had, like the little oranges that she had, when in front of my eyes... I have a picture of six different types, all at different prices, and I simply asked her, are these imperial? And she kind of yelled at me and went, you should know what they are. And I said, lady, I said, you know, I have, there are six different types on my computer screen here. I can hit the most expensive one if you want. I didn't say that last part, but I felt like I, I could just default to the most expensive ones for you if you'd like. They also forget they're dealing with a real human being, all they see is the uniform. That's exactly right. And can kind of go, you know, there's, there's, you know, a hu you know, there's a human inside of this uniform, huh? Do you see how that works? Do you see how that works? Hi, my name is Water Buffalo, and in the summer, 
I had a casual job at a, re a, at a very popular retail outlet. Do you see how that works? I got yelled at, but I was, and it made me very upset because my parents just died. And uh, I, I was very upset. And when I asked the lady at the, at the checkout area what type of oranges she had, she just yelled at me. And then I cried. I cried a lot. And then she, she then felt bad for me because she said, she, she saw that uh, I, uh, she saw, <laughs> do this character. It's been a while since I've had to do water buffalo. And she just yelled at me because I uh, didn't know what type of oranges she had. And I was very upset because my parents just died. You see how that works? Yell at me for getting the incorrect, guessing the incorrect oranges. And then I cry. <laughs> Water Buffalo, okay, I know we've got a huge show planned and I don't really have time for these uh, side jags, but could you imagine, aww, says Kerry, hugs for Water Buffalo, I know, right, I feel kind of bad for Water Buffalo, I feel bad for the fictional character that I made up this mythos for, huge hugs for Water Buffalo, I feel bad for Water Buffalo sometimes, he gets, really gets the short end of the stick. Uh, wait, there's, there's, okay, I, again, teaser, teaser for, for when the, the boats start podcasting then, there's another animal-based character that w is going to be introduced onto the network, I'm just saying. Uh, but, what if I gets the short end of the stick? It's kind of like, you know, it, he really does. He gets yelled at by middle-aged ladies, uh, for not guessing the correct oranges, and his parents died, and... You know, it's 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 right. It's a rough going for water buffalo. It's a rough going for water buffalo. I don't really, I need to re-listen to that show again to 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 again write out all of water buffalo's traits because it's just that one trait that I remember. But yeah, it's rough. It's a rough going for water buffalo. It's a rough going. But water buffalo, uh, water buffalo working in a supermarket is it's kind of the best, best thing ever, right? Um, my water, my, my next please, next waiting. Thank you. Can I help the next customer? Hi there. How are you? How are you today? I'm doing quite well, thank you. I'm 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 doing okay. I'm not doing quite well. My parents. My parents just died, and I'm, I'm here at the supermarket. I'm earning a living. Oh, okay. That, 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 well, you know, I, I've, I've had to deal with it for a while now, despite the fact that they just died. No, I, my parents are still alive. They're just in New Jersey. They're actually just in New Jersey. They they just died because that's what they told me to say. They told me to say that they died even though they moved away from me to go to New Jersey. Alright, that comes to 1516. Thank you. Just, I, no, don't don't try and wave your card around at me. It just You can put it in the machine in front of you yourself. You see how that, do you see how that works? You just put the card inside, you either swipe it or you insert the chip into the machine. You see how that works? Uh, you have to put your pin number in and hit the OK button. Do you see how that works? Yes, you put it, you put the card in. Yes. Oh, please take your items. What a buffalo is best as a supermarket. So that's just him running the registers, right? So then you got water buffalo doing customer service. Excuse me, sir. Uh, can you, uh, can you, uh, can you, can you show me where the almond milk is? Uh, yes, ma'am. It's down on number eight on the right hand side. Do you want me to, do you want me to show you? No, it's okay. I, I, I can find it. All right. It's right next to the, it's right up us at the premix sports drink. Do you see how that works? <laughs> Wait, did Water Buffalo's parents fake their own deaths? 
Is this a, is, is this a bigger ruse for an insurance claim? <laughs> Carrie says, I know you said almond milk, but I heard almond milk. Yeah, I know. That's the water buffalo. That's, that's the Australian water buffalo accent. I think I might have actually said almond milk. <laughs> that milk needs... This milk need, this needs some high security, so we lock it behind a cage. Almond, almond milk is what I call baby formula because now in Australia we have to lock our almond milk. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> in Australia we ha I call I call baby formula almond milk because we have to keep it behind a cage to stop all the Chinese people from buying it all and exporting it at ridiculous rates. Do you see how that works? Faction not racist because it's factually accurate. It can't be racist if it's factually accurate. <laughs> Wait, really? Yes, Kerry, that's actually a thing. <laughs> they, 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 they are baby uh, ske uh bleh, scalpers. Yes, they, they literally go to supermarkets and buy boxes and boxes of baby formula. Troll and trolleys full, shopping carts full of baby formula to export to China. So they buy it for like twenty dollars and export it for like fifty a, a each unit. They make thirty dollars off like one little tin of baby formula, a tin that's about a foot apparently. But no, like a, like a I don't know what, how big that would be. Or, uh, or there's a great visual bits on an audio audio podcast, but uh, like. A normal sized tin of baby formula, they make like $30 off if they buy it in bulk and export it every single one. That's actually a thing. <laughs> Again, it's not racist if it's factually accurate. Alternative facts. But no, that's actually a thing. I think we talked about it on the show. Uh, I think I compared it to... Uh, there was a really bad Dale analogy at the time that... Uh, uh, where well, I compared it to like breast milk or something. I don't. I can't remember what the terrible analogy was. Combine that with extreme couponing for maximum effort, says Kerry. Exactly. Exactly. You you combine the two and uh, you, you you have yourself a viable business apparently. So we've got water buffalo, water buffalo in a supermarket. We've got him running the cashier. We got him. Uh, we can piss everyone off. Exactly. Except at work, we now have a limit on a week, and only buy three per transaction. Which means they stockpile. It still doesn't stop the stockpiling issue, where they can literally buy three at any one given store, and store it in some generic live warehouse down the street. Wouldn't his horns just knock everything off? Yeah, water buffalo stocking the shelves. <laughs> yeah, his horns would be like he'd try and bend and like always lift. I'm doing, I'm doing this action live on the internet. <laughs> oh, what is my life doing again? Doing this action on the internet. I hope this is. I hope this is the thumbnail. <laughs> I certainly hope so. <laughs> I'm doing this action on the internet. Dale. <laughs> daily. Daily. It's the new daily greeting. Oh, it's good to be back. Big news coming soon. <laughs> we actually do. I do have. I, uh, nope. I have some news I, I want to share, but I can't on the internet, so I'm doing this dance instead. Yes! Someone kill it. Someone's gonna clip that. I know someone's gonna clip that. It'll probably be me. <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of good clips in this pre-show. We're really, really working up for, for, for a good show, I think. I want to know the news. I, you can't know the news. I realized I dug myself that hole and, and now I'm going to have to lay in it for the rest of eternity. <laughs> I dug myself a hole and now I have to lay in it for eternity? Save a life. Listen to GLS. 
Save Dale's life. Listen to GLS. <laughs> That's very grim. I, I just realised how grim this was turning. <laughs> or just until July. Yes, July. You will know in about a month. Uh, you can't. You can't get on the plane. Uh, you can't get on your plane if you're in a hole. That's true. It's definitely true. Uh, I will. I will be dragged out of my hole to get on the plane. That sounded. That's gonna sound weird out of context. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what is happening? It's gonna be back. I'm, I'm away for a week, and I just have all of this. <coughs> I have all of the creases to work out. The, uh, me not doing the show for a week is like getting a really good massage. You just, the pre-show is a good massage some weeks to just iron out the kinks. You get a massage that does that. Oh. The generic live exercise tape. The generic live workout where you just do that. That's one exercise. It's like when, yeah, Kerry says, when, when it's like when we haven't done Manipal for a month, everyone just goes crazy. Exactly. Uh, we need to do more of those too, don't we? We need to, we need to figure something out for that. <coughs> uh, anyway, do we still want to continue the water buffalo doing, uh, the water buffalo in retail bit? I feel like I, I feel like I got a bit more of that in me. So water buffalo stacking shelves uh, is just is like he, he tries he can't well does water buffalo have hands have we ever established the fact that does water buffalo even have hands I know he has those claw thing like buffalo <laughs> water buffaloes have claw things that they they do uh, water buffalo retrieving trolleys man that would be a good job for water buffalo. Do you imagine claws? No, that's not. They're not claws. All right, I'm gonna play this while I look up water. I know they don't have hands. I'm trying to think of what they paws. I guess. Hooves. Thank you. Man, I'm still. Uh, no, I don't want to know that. Yeah, they have hooves. Okay. <laughs> claws. This water buffalo has claws. This water buffalo has claws. Wow. And he's on fire. No. Um. They have hooves, okay. But yeah, what about follow retrieving trolleys where you would just like stand on stand on the edge of the, the the trolley like that and just push him along and he's walking on two legs. <laughs> you can hear my chat. Uh but that would be great. I would love to imagine water buffalo uh retrieving trolleys, it'd be great. Uh, excuse me, sir. Are you, uh, can I take that tro empty trolley from you? Are you still using that? Oh, I can have it. Awesome. I will put it into my pile and take it inside. Do you see how that works? That's one thing, too, with water buffalo. If he's, um... If he, uh, like... Uh, you know... Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I got distraction. Distracted. Hey, hey, I got distraction. I got one distraction. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Plus one distraction. Uh, he could, yeah, he could push him along with his horns as well. But another thing too, he could... Uh, what was I going to say? I got, I got something here. Oh, every, every job he did, like even like... I don't know how he would do it, but like stack, stack produce or stack shelves or there work the cashier he would like he would like tell the customer how to do the job because of his catchphrase do you see how that works 
Like, his basis for conversation is telling everyone what is his job description at all times. So if he's, you know, pushing the trolleys, he would just, like, s- stop at, like, at the trolley bay and pull over someone and go, Hi, my name is Water Buffalo, and I have to put these trolleys together and take them inside for customers to use. Do you see how that works? <laughs> Every time. He would... He would, yeah, he would just explain the job over and over and over again. Oh, Jesus, it's 8.03. Should probably start the show. Again, we've got a big show. We should probably stop goofing around. Uh, 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 uh. He'd probably push him with these horns, too. Oh, we did a good bit. That was a good bit. That was a bit that lasted like half an hour. But goofing around is always, is is fun. Yeah, goofing around is fun. I, I started the pre-show and I'm like, I got nothing to talk about. And then we somehow filled 35 to 40 minutes with water buffalo material. Water buffalo, man. I tell you what, is the... Uh, is the... Uh, is the, the bit that keeps on giving. Aw, thank you, Carrie. One bit. You do have good bits, Dale. Aw, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is also a good bit. It's 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 not. It's outdated. It's borderline sexist. We're not doing the sex here thing. Oh, Water Buffalo is a good bit. Water Buffalo is my bit. Again, stay tuned for more animal-based characters. It's like CJ and I's comedy routine we did for 20 minutes. Improv comedy bit we did for 20 minutes for no one. Alright. Let's, uh... Uh, do this. And then do... Ooh. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! There we go. Alright. Oof. I feel like we're good to start the show at five past the hour. <laughs> it is what it is. Again, goofing around. You can't you can't help goofing around. Like you can't help nine hour post shows. Alright. Let's uh do this thing in three, two, one. 